Hello there and welcome to the Green Up Morton weekly update in association with McTears the Auctioneers where you get the chance to go behind the scenes at Capelow Park and find out what's going on with the players and the management team. In that capacity, delighted to say that I'm joined by Bob McHugh this morning. Bob, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent, thank you. We talked about last week's game and all the prevarications with that, but let's talk about 100 games for more. Hi, um, it's not something I actually knew. I wasn't. I, I didn't know it was coming up um, until before the game. Actually, it's it was a great achievement. It's a wee bit of a surprise because I, I, I thought I would have been a wee, a wee bit off that, but no, it's a great achievement for myself, and I've I've really enjoyed my time here. So it's. Um, hopefully there's a few more games to come. Yeah, because I mean you've been around the scene for a few years, if you don't mind me saying, so yep. you, you played at youth level for, for Scotland as well, coming through Motherwell. But this is really the club you seem to have found your roots at, and enjoying being a modern player. Yep, um, it's, I think, I don't know if it's just came with, with age or whatever, but I've I've enjoyed my time here and it's, uh, I've, done, I've done okay and I, I still feel there's, there's improvement in me as well, so it's it's been a good three seasons and there's been a lot of change as well over the time here, and I think I think we're, we're finally I think we're going places for the club, and it's it's something I want to be a part of if, if that's possible. Have a wee chat about that in a moment, but I want to ask you, what are your your own personal highlights? The hat trick against Alwa, perhaps? Or? Um, that was my first um, professional hat trick, so that was obviously that was one that I really enjoyed. Um, there was a few. I think my first season here we beat St Mern. Uh, that always I, goes down well. I managed to get a goal there in the derby. I remember that because it was early on in the season and St Mern were, were, were favourites to, to, go, to win the league. I think they ended up in the end they did, but um, it was a nice, lovely sunny day. There was, there's been a few. I think there was a, a goal against Ross County last season. It was a kind of late winner. They were favourites to win the league out in Capelo as well. It was a, it was quite a nice goal. So there's been a few. I've probably missed out a few as well, but there's, there's. The, the game against Falkirk, although I didn't start last season, at the end of last season, it was a massive game for, for the club to keep them, to keep them in the, in the division because it was a fight at that point, and obviously there was a, there was a rivalry there with, with Falkirk. So I, I came on by maybe twenty five minutes to go, but I, was, I remember I was just coming back from injury, and I know that was a that was a massive game for the club, and I mean the fans were particularly really good that day. So that was that was one I remember. More recent times, let's talk about the Queen of the South game last week as well. Atrocious conditions, two penalties, could have a third, you know, he stepped up, took the spot kick, put it away. And then the second one, I know you've talked about that one as well, you weren't too happy about the situation. No, it was, it was one of them, it's, I probably hit the second one better than I hit the first one. The, the first one didn't go as far into the corner as the second one, but it's, that's just penalties. Sometimes if he goes in, it's a great penalty. Um, I don't think I've had a penalty in, in worse conditions. I mean the ball was the ball was moving and just you, the wind was blowing right back in my face and it was in hindsight maybe um, I, I, to to be fair I was I was open to let anybody else hit it if they want because the, the second penalty can always be tricky but it's one of the things if if we get another penalty next week I'll be I'll be put my hand up first to volunteer to hit it if if somebody else wants to hit it that's fine but I'll always be there to. Yeah, because you're a goal scorer. You yeah. like scoring goals. Aye. The chance to score from twelve yards, you're Aye. not going to pass that up. Yeah, no, it's penalties can be can be tricky, but it's I'm more than confident to to go up and try and try and get another goal for myself and 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 try and get points for the team. If it, if I don't think it was it wasn't my worst penalty. So there was a, there was a, there was a lot of other factors there. It was a second penalty and there was a, there was wind in my face. The ball was kind of moving. So it, it's in hindsight maybe my laces for it, that's, that's all I would have changed. Let's look forward then to the weekend down to Somerset Park. Tricky game. Oh, it's, it's always a tough game. They're, they're kind of flying high at the top end of the, the table and they've got, good, they've got a good squad of players here. They've got some quality going forward but it's not beyond us to go up there and, and take three points. I think that's, that's what we need to be We need to be looking to go up there and, and I, don't know, I don't know if you can call it an upset but go up there and, and make sure we we got up an attacking positive mentality to, to go up there and take all three points. Now you mentioned it yourself, you've been here three seasons, played under a, a number of managers, and you feel now that this is really gelling together. There is a, an atmosphere around the club that that is actually happening. Aye, um, there's, been, there's been big changes around about the club, so it's, it's always going to take, take its time to bed in. I think we're still bedding in just now. There's, we've got a big squad here, but a lot of them are 
young players as well. We've got a good mix of experience in young players, so we'll just try to kind of bond that all together. And I think since just before Christmas, I think when we we managed to get that first away one, I think since then, I think we've started to look. There's a bit. There's a lot more togetherness on the pitch, um, and I think that's that that's starting to show. And I think for now, at the end of the season, hopefully it can can just the momentum can keep going. Great to have you back amongst the goals as well. Is that your project uh, going forward now to try and get in amongst the goals more? Aye, um, I'd like to take my tally. I don't know. I think I'm at eleven just now. I'd like to to see where I can go with that and and just keep scoring goals. But I think it's the cliche is it's, it's about the team just now and make sure we we keep ourselves away from because the, the league is that tight. We need to keep ourselves away from the teams below us and, and start kind of try to pull back the teams above us as well. And um, but it's you, you know yourself how competitive the championship is. is the la- over the last few years, we just need to keep focusing week to week and make sure we keep um, getting points. The margins are very very tight, as you say. I mean, you could be up the table one minute, you could be down the table the next. It's, you try to stay focused on where you can go. I um I I think it's just week to week. Um, and every every game, there's no a game in the, this league that you can look at and go like. Ah, well, there's three points there, but you need to fight for every single point you can get in this championship. And there's a great example of that. It was at the weekend. Um, we we could be going back behind twice in the game and showing character to come back. So it's every points you need to really scrap for every point, and we need to go into that mentality again for Saturday. Well, Bob, great to have you back. Great to have you back amongst the goals. And thanks for joining us on the Green at Morton Weekly Update. Thank you. And thank you for joining us once again on the Green at Morton Weekly Update as sponsored by McTears, the auctioneers.